What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again, and I wanted to open up the discussion around 51% attacks, especially with the recent launch of the Crypto51.app website, which will be linked in the description below. Basically, I was on uh, Twitter today, and I saw a tweet about how it's so cheap to go ahead and 51% attack Bitcoin private. So of course I was curious about what was going on and of course what the website was displaying and where they were getting their numbers from. So we're going to go through all of that. We're going to discuss how valid it's going to be. And of course I always learn from y'all as much as I hope you guys learn from me. So let me know in the comments if you feel I'm off base on anything or just open up further discussion on the topic. Be right back. Welcome back. So if you guys haven't heard of what a 51% attack is, essentially if you want to basically take over a network of uh, whatever blockchain you want to take it over on, whether that's Bitcoin or Zcash or any of the other coins that are running around out there, all you really need to do is take over 51% of the hash power. At that point, you can take over the network and create a second chain. And with that second chain, you can spoof extra blocks, essentially. And then at the end of the day, what would happen is once it goes to resolve, it would see that hopefully, well, if you have 51% of the hash rate, your essentially fork of that chain would take over and you would own, of course, the cryptocurrency. That's a very basic knowledge of it. And I'll leave some more links for you guys to go ahead and learn more about it, of course, in the description below. What we're really here to talk about, though, is it really so cheap? And is this website accurate when going ahead and determining prices? Well, where they're getting their numbers from could be flawed in some cases, and we're going to talk about that. However, their numbers are coming from basic websites that you've probably heard of, things like What to Mine, NiceHash, and so on. If you guys aren't familiar with NiceHash, this is the big player in how they pulled these numbers. And NiceHash is basically a cryptocurrency mining rental website. So investors will go there and they will pay miners essentially to go ahead and rent hash power for, for whichever algo they want to mine. And then basically the miners will get paid out in Bitcoin and of course the renters will get paid out in the cryptocurrency of their choice. Now there's a lot of problems with NiceHash, not the least of which was that they were compromised last year and they were have yet failed to pay back all of the miners on their network and renters because both people lost it because they had a single master wallet that was hacked and money was moved out of it. That's not really the topic for this video though, other than just to point out that they've lost a lot of miner trust and because of that, they don't have near the hash power or availability that they used to have. So it's probably not as big of a deal uh, on the larger coins. Now when we start talking about the coins, that's the problem we're going to start seeing the possibility of 51% attacks. And while the website does basically put this in a very visual format that will basically make you aware of where these 51% attacks could be implemented, it's not necessarily a end-all be-all to predicting what could be attacked because there are things developers can do. And so that's the first thing is there are things that developers of these coins can do to protect themselves. One of which is actually already being implemented by Bitcoin private, which is increasing the confirmation time. And I know this because we run a Bitcoin private pool and the shield unshielding process and the amount of con confirmations it requires to go ahead and confirm a block can way outweigh this one hour attack time. So the price here is probably not exactly something that you should be paying attention to because while the price is based on how much it would cost you to rent that amount of hash power for an hour to take over 51% of the network, it's not going to be just one hour, right? It could be two hours, depending on what they do with the confirmation. There's also other security that the developers can implement. And frankly, if these developers are not implementing them, they're probably not coins you want to be taking into account as well. So definitely go look through the white paper and see what kind of precautions your specific coin has gone ahead and tried to take to prevent these sorts of attacks. Now, while browsing through this list, I did find more fallacies, and this is just frankly due to the fact that other websites don't keep up with what's going on at all times. So on what to mine right now, you do have like CryptoNote, 
which is basically still showing coins that are no longer on crypto note so crypto night v7 is what most have moved to now while that's going to translate to crypto night for the most part there are other algorithms such as of course crypto night light v7 and crypto night heavy so in this case one that i saw was sumo and sumo was on there saying it could be hacked for like a hundred dollars and somebody tweeted at me asking me what i thought about it and immediately i can tell you that NiceHash does not currently allow people to rent crypto night heavy so you'd have to go to something like mining rig rentals which has even less hash power than nice hash now i'm not saying that it couldn't be attacked in this manner what i'm saying is is that the data that's being pulled is fallible and therefore pretty much invalidates anything that you're looking at as far as price to actual threat that's that's there so yes 51 percent attacks can be manipulated through mining rig rentals or through nice hash and such however it probably costs a lot more than what we're really being led to believe here with this little web app now do i think that they built this just to spread fud no i don't think they did i think it was a fun thing to build in fact it would probably be something i would be interested in in participating in so if you guys want to talk to me we could figure out different ways that we could probably more accurately track it that would be awesome however at the point at this point the way it's set up is kind of spreading a lot of fud or unnecessary fud and by that i mean it's not necessarily the developers of this web app or their intentions being false here but primarily it's the misuse of the information that's already probably flawed so take it all with a grain of salt don't get too scared do some more research once again go back to the white papers see what kind of precautions they're taking against this type of attack and also we just have some other coins that are having bigger issues that aren't going to be requiring a 51 percent attack that we probably should be taking a look at there's other security holes that are definitely worse than this there's also other problems of a lot of coins just essentially copy pasting over entire other coins and then selling them off as another coin there's a lot of other issues here going on in the crypto space and 51% attack is probably not the largest because for the most part it's cost prohibitive and if you were to go ahead and execute one of these you would probably devalue the coin the only coin that's really been surviving this stuff off and on is going to be verge and they haven't really fallen to a true 51% attack it's just a manipulated hash rate with a time warp and so on however you know they do seem to be the only ones that are able to survive most of this and they never invalidate any of the coins on that chain but that could just be said to all of their partnerships that they're being able to accumulate through MindGeek and so on now that being said real quick in case you guys weren't aware i did want to mention that verge for the third time has apparently going through another attack once again i've yet to confirm all of the details but i'll leave links to it in the description below in case we want to discuss that further i was very sad to hear that it's once again happening and it seems to be the exact same issue or a for a, the exact same form of attack that it was previously but like i said yet to be confirmed if somebody can confirm that for me in the comment section i'll pin it with of course the source so you guys can grab that hope that covers everything that we could today those were the two big topics of course a big focus on 51 percent attack let me know what you guys think about it of course in the comment section below don't forget to hit us up on discord where we have a community of people that are chatting about this type of thing all the time that link will also be in the description below and i will see you next tuesday